What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the changes coming to the stasis subclass in the final shape. A few days ago I made a video talking about the stasis subclass being free to everyone and in this week's uh, this week in Destiny we got a kind of look at all the changes to the subclasses and there's going to be a lot of nerfs to the other subclasses but in this video I want to focus on stasis. There's going to be a lot of changes for the good for stasis so it's getting a lot of buffs. They talk about in the Bungie 30th anniversary pack and Boyd uh, 3.0, they haven't really let up on the gas since. As a result, other than smaller changes they've been able to make here and there, it's been difficult to evaluate the relationship between stasis and our other damage types. So, in, like I said, in the final shape in particular, they wanted to upgrade the stasis shard overshield that lived on the fringes of the damage type to make it full on keyword they can incorporate into abilities, armor, and weapon perks. Frost armor is a stacking buff that reduces incoming damage with greater damage reduction as your stacks increase. At launch, frost armor will be granted from a variety of sources, including the tectonic, grim, and glacial uh, harvest aspects, fragments, and exotic armor. By default, you can build up to a maximum of five stacks of frost armor that last nine seconds. But with the newly reworked Whisper of Rhyme fragment, frost armor's maximum lifetime increases to 13 seconds and can build to a maximum of eight stacks. Unlike the Stasis Shard Overshield, frost armor remains active when your super is cast through its effectiveness is uh, significantly lower while your super is active. Uh, you can... Uh, you are forfeited by or fortified, excuse me, by layers of durable stasis matter, uh, reducing incoming damage. Frost armor damage resistant grows stronger as you gain additional stacks. Also reduces damage from PVE combatants by 4.5% per stack, and enemy players in PvP by 2%. The Whisper of Rhyme rework no longer grants a stasis shard overshield when collecting a stasis shard, but now increases the maximum duration and stack count of your frost armor. They said one long standing piece of feedback they received in stasis uh, in the stasis shards felt too limited, requiring a specific aspect to generate them. Because stasis uh, shards are created for all allied players at once rather than being able to consume that resource like Tangles or a locally a local only resource like the fire sprites icon, ionic traces or void breaches it could be easy for the number of stasis shards on the field to spiral out of control if we were to make their creation in citric to damage type instead they're increasing the number of sources that players can build into a and to generate them more on this shortly it says when Tectonic Grim or Glacial Harvest is equipped in addition to the other previous behaviors. Collecting any Stasis Shard now grants a small amount of health and stack of Frost Armor. This is all Harvest aspects that have new behaviors. While Grim, Tectonic, or Glacial Harvest is equipped, Stasis Shards grant a small amount of health and stack for Frost Armor. Larger Stasis uh, Shards from Grim Harvest grant more health and more Frost Armor stacks. All harvest aspects now have a standardized a standardized cooldown when a large number of shards are created very quickly. For tectonic harvest now creates a stasis uh, shard when shattering a frozen target in addition to shattering the stasis crystal. It says renewal grasp they replace the gen uh, generic damage resistance with frost armor and on entering your dust fill grenade volume your you or your allies gain a stack of frost armor about every 0 0.9 seconds while in the volume and the additional frost armor stack is granted a resetting your timer um, the wrath weavers they replace the stasis shard overshield with frost armor when you're active uh, when you activate your rift or use the winner's wrath shatter attack whisper of chill the stasis weapon final blows have a chance to create stasis shards for Whisper of Chains, no longer grants passive damage resistance when near a stasis, a stasis crystal or a frozen target. Now it grants you a chance to create a stasis shard when defeating a target while you have one or more stacks of frost armor. A Whisper of Fractures no longer increases melee energy regeneration, but it now grants a stack of frost armor when you shatter any frozen target with a melee attack. And Whisper of Torment. 
the grenade energy gains are no longer dependent on your current health value. While you have a while you have frost armor, energy per damage event increases from seven to twelve percent. So based on your grenade energy re regeneration, the amount per incoming damage in the event will increase from five to seven percent as well. Also, the whisper of reversal. While you have frost armor, dealing or receiving physical melee, not projectile melee, damage slows your victims or attackers. For the stasis uh, shatter, they increase the base PVE shatter damage from 2 to 400. They also fixed a few issues with the shatter as well. Now when it comes to the class uh, specific things, so for warlocks, hunters, and titans, uh, for the Warlock, the Ice Flare Bolt, they increase the maximum number of Seekers created before going on cooldown from 5 to 7. For the Hunter, the Winter Shroud, they added a new behavior. Slowing targets briefly increases your class ability regeneration rate. Also, a bonus is reduced in, PV, uh, bonus is reduced in PvP game modes and now grants PvE damage reduction when activated. Touch of Winter, the Glacial Grenade, they added an additional stasis crystal to the ring formation and the glacial grenade ring now forms over 0.27 seconds rather than instantly and the cold snap grenade no longer changed an additional time while touch of winter is equipped instead seekers now duplicate when the uh, when they freeze a target and second and third seeker chains now create a medium and large stasis uh, stasis crystals respectively rather than every chain creating a small crystal Silence and Squall. Uh, increase the Squall maximum travel speed by 10%. Uh, 10 the Squall Storm now slows down when any target is when the, in, within the area of effect to reduce instances where it can overshoot its target. And they increase the damage and slow tick rate versus PvE combatants by about 40%, bringing its freeze time from approximately 0 0.8 seconds to 0 0.5 seconds. Now, I always really have enjoyed Stasis on the Hunter and that is one thing that I, I kind of did not like about using Silence and Squall. Uh, it would always seem to go past some of your enemies because once you threw it out, sometimes they may be past where you have thrown it or, you know, just kind of on the outer edge and they could get away from it. That seems to be fixed now with this update when the final shape is released. And for the Titan, uh, the Shiver Strikes, they increase the damage versus PVE combatants by 10%, the size of the melee target cone by 50%, and the maximum lunge uh, tracking speed from 7 degrees per second to 21 degrees per second. And Glacial Quake now automatically begins sprinting when the player throttles forward. Um, for Diamond Lance, they're making a couple of quality of life changes. They increase the throwdown lance detonation radius to 3.5 uh, from 3.5 to 5 meters. The Diamond Lance Slam Detonation Radius from 6.75 to 8 meters versus PvE Combatants. The Diamond Lance now shatters Stasis Crystals on direct impact. They reduce the Diamond Lance Pickup uh, Interaction from 0 0.2 seconds to 0 0.1 seconds, which is going to match uh, what you would get with a Strand Tangle. Also, they increase the Diamond Lance Pickup um, Interaction Radius from 0 0.7 meters to 3 meters also matching strand tangles so it's a lot of changes to stasis and they're making this class free for everyone so that's a great thing but they're making a lot of changes not to just you know like you like i was talking about the whisper of chill you know your whisper of change things like that but class specific changes as well for the titan warlock and hunter so stasis overall is going to be a lot stronger in the final shape than it was uh previously now, the thing that's kind of interesting to me is I'm going to be curious to see what everyone uses when the final shape is released, because I think we all are going to be gravitating towards, you know, that new subclass where we can combine everything together. But it looks like stasis is going to be something that you may want to look at as well, because I, like I said, I kind of figure everyone's going to use, you know, that new subclass. But at the same time, with stasis getting such a big buff, I'm going to make some other videos talking about the nerfs to a lot of the other stuff. You know, we got a nerf to Well of Radiance and Ward of Dawn. We also got a nerf uh, to some of the stuff with the Arc subclass. Also some buffs there. But Solar subclass got some changes along with the Void subclass as well. And Strand got a pretty big nerf uh, on the Titan side at least. And a few changes for the other classes as well. But overall, Stasis got the 
biggest benefit, I think, out of these class changes for the final shape for the best. Uh, everything that they did with Stasis pretty much is going to improve it, it seems. We'll kind of have to wait and see, of course, when we can get our hands on this when the final shape launches. But leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are about how the Stasis subclass is, uh, the Stasis subclass is changing. And do you think it's going to be you know, something that you're going to be interested in using in the final shape? Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.